you get this perfect smattering of spreckles on your nose. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, okay, point it at your face, Rachel. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I hope you are having a fantastic, fantastic Thursday. Today, we are back testing out some more viral beauty hacks. And we're not only testing beauty hacks, but we're also gonna include a lot of viral products that I have found that are like, they have become like, tried and true favorites. Thanks to Walmart for sponsoring this video. I have found a ton of makeup, skincare, hair care products that have been trending on the internet and tested them out together with you guys and I continue to go back to them. They have such a huge assortment of affordable options that I feel like everyone can find something that's great for them and their routine and I have found just such fantastic products that I continue to go back to and continue to purchase, including, but not limited to, the NYX The Marshmallow Primer. I mean, how, how many times have I talked about this? I think this is bottle four now. It does a fantastic job at not only keeping your makeup like cemented to your face in the best way possible. And I have not found a foundation that this does not work with. Like it's just, it, your skin looks phenomenal. Bonus hack, putting it under the eyes great for concealer. Another one, ooh, this is the Ama Beauty. This has been my go-to foundation recently. I actually tested this probably in the last month and a half and it was just like exploding everywhere. Everyone is talking about how amazing this foundation is and for good reason. So this is available at Walmart US. And of course we can't leave out skincare because I'm obsessed. obsessed. You guys have heard me talk about Versed before, Versed Skincare. They have a ton of products, actually a couple of them ended up in my end of year favorites. A recent favorite of mine is their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. It smells like eucalyptus and I can put it on my eyes, face, it doesn't even matter. It nothing stings, it just takes everything off. It doesn't feel greasy after, it's just, it's so good. So of course we're gonna be using those products today in and amongst the hacks, but you can go and check out walmart.com slash beauty or your local Walmart store for the latest in beauty products. And now let us dive into the hacks. All right, I had a little tape on the outside because we're gonna be doing a wing, but with a hack. And that is apparently if you dip a brush in micellar water and then dip it into any eyeshadow you want, you're gonna have a long lasting, as in like all day, doesn't fade, doesn't smudge or anything, liner. And this has been tested over and over again, so I feel like we need to get in on this. So I'm gonna do a midnight blue today, because I wanna know if it's going to <laughs> smudge all over my skin. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of micellar water on my brush here, and I have it on my brush. Let's do this. Okay, first of all, <laughs> are they even? This is an important thing that I often mess up. Okay, I think, I think they're even. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, it's showing up. Like, look at that. What? You guys see that, right? Like, look how pigmented that is. Oh, okay. I mean, my placement might be a little bad. It might be a little bad, but the line itself. Okay, this is, this is working. Okay, this is promising. <gasps> Note to self, if you have one of those um, micellar waters that has like the push down lid, um, don't, <laughs> don't dip your brush back in there unless you want eyeshadow on it. Oh, this is working so well. Super smooth, really easy to apply. The tape is very helpful too. Also a hack. Okay, this is working. <laughs> Let me put on some mascara and see if it stays put. All right, here we go. Kind of like this. I think they're even. <laughs> they look even to me. <laughs> Hope so. But now let's go on to the face. I'm gonna start with the uh, <laughs> NYX primer that, again, obsessed about. It is honestly, I think my favorite primer, my favorite primer of all time. I'm not even joking. I must have bought like four of these from Walmart. Like it's just, I, I can't, I can't get enough of them. There we go. Got it under the eyes too. Cool, cool. And it smells like marshmallows, but in the most like non sickly sweet way. It's like creamy and it always makes my makeup look like Phenomenal, so good. Now moving on to the I'm a Beauty, the Say What Foundation. Again, this is like a pretty new one for me, honestly. And this was the first product from this brand that I had ever tried before. And I was like, oh, oh, I see why everyone likes this so much. I would say definitely buildable coverage for this one. And you can do anything from medium to max fullness. Pores look great, my skin looks great. It is a great, foundation. Now, always the challenge, how to apply it around the brows. <laughs> I'm gonna get as close to the brows without actually getting on the brows. Forever my challenge. Now I wanna try another hack. And this one is to create sort of like an eye brightening effect 
without it looking um, very like stark or overly, you know, that like bright under eye rat kind of raccoon look, but like we, we don't want to go there. But apparently applying a white or close to white concealer just in like the corner of the eye and then using a different concealer to kind of like blend everything out is going to give you that brightening effect without that like stark like contrast. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the whitest concealer that I own. Apply it like right there. You know, let's hope for the best. And then I'm going to take this, the NYX um, Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I've just been recently enjoying this. I'm gonna use this to like blend it out. Also worth noting, I did apply a little bit of concealer in the outer corners just to kind of counteract the line I have that sort of drags the eye downwards. It's helpful for me just to like cancel that out when I'm doing a wing liner, just symmetry purposes. All right, now we blend. I'm all for a nice brightening effect in the inner corner, but I am really scared this is gonna look very, very white. Okay, how, how does it look? Does it look okay? I feel like that looks okay. That's success, this is what a, that is. I feel like that looks brighter. Now we need to set everything, it's like a little, a little powder. Not all of it though, actually, now that I think about it. So I can get the under eyes, just so it doesn't crease, you know. And if you can, when you're blending under the eyes, try and look up, because that way you don't get any like creasing. Although I have done that before and then proceeded to like go right over top of my wing line, so be careful. And then we gotta add a little bit of bronzer. And now, a little bit more bronzed. We are gonna try a hack where apparently if you take a like a color corrector, you can use it as a blush and it's gonna look very flattering. And so we're gonna try it. So I have like a like a pinky, pinky peach one. We're gonna use that. We always think my cheekbones like right up here. I'm like, yeah, that's it. Nope, right over here, Rachel. Hopefully that's not too much. I'm gonna use my fingers and tap it in. Honestly, that's really pretty. What? That's, that's so pretty? You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, I hope it's showing up on camera because it is beautiful. Not sure how it would work in terms of like consistency with a lot of color correctors being more like, I don't know, more creamy, but like the one that I have, that's so pretty. Wonder what it would look like with more of a like, um, like more of an orangey color corrector, you know? Cause that one's like very blushy, but like, hold on. This one's more pe- mm. See, that's just gonna be skin tone. That's not gonna work. And that's just brightening. That's not gonna work at all either. Okay. So I guess if you have like a pinky kind of a color corrector, I, like I would try it. It's really nice. <laughs> okay, now I'm going on to one that like I have my doubts about, like I just, I can't, I can't see this looking good at all. So I'm a little wary, but basically the hack goes that you choose whatever your brow color is and you use that brow pencil as your lip liner and then you fill it with whatever blush you typically would go for. And that doesn't sound promising, but I've seen it look really good on some in some of the videos that I've seen, so um, we're gonna give it a go. So for brow shade, I've been kind of playing with two different ones because my brows naturally are very like cool toned, but my hair right now is is not. So I've been trying to balance the cool tones with the warm tone. So I'm gonna use a warm tone brow pencil because I feel like it's gonna look better. But um, overall, I don't have high hopes. All right, here it goes. Wish me luck. I'm lining my lips with brow product, you know? A casual Thursday. Or, I mean, already this is proving to be difficult in that it's a brow pencil and it's not as like glidey as a lip liner. It's not supposed to be. Okay, you say so. It's so pretty. Love the extra je ne sais quoi with like the <laughs> foundation on the lip. And then I'm just using this as like my typical blush color. So I'm gonna use that on my lips. Wait, hold up. Why is that not as terrible as I was anticipating? 
Honestly, we deserve this win after the last beauty hacks I did. <laughs> oh, that was a disaster. Honestly, I'm not sold on the brown for the uh, liner, and I don't think I would like it if it was the cool tone that it would typically mix in with my brow pencil, but the blush color on the lips is Perfect. That is exactly what I would be wearing, yeah. Oh, almost forgot to put on uh, mascara on my lower lashes. Good for me. All right, now finally coming to the one that I am the most terrified of, and that is... <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> it is taking, you know those um, root touch-up kind of sprays that you can apply if your roots are growing out, or oftentimes people will use them for like, if you slick back your hair and you want to fill in any areas that maybe are sparser, you can use it. It's like a spray. Anyway, people have been using that in a very specific way to create freckles on your face. This one has me a little bit scared um, because people are in two camps. Basically, you either get this like big like streak on your face, which looks crazy, or you get this perfect smattering of spreckles on your nose. Like it is, there's no in between. So I am a little scared. And there's no like fancy editing and things. Like I can see people spraying it on their skin and it's just like, like little freckles. It's crazy town out there. And I used to, I grew up having freckles on my nose, which have then dissipated disappointingly into my adulthood. Um, so I want to bring them back. And if I can do that, that would be awesome. I'm a little, I'm really, I'm not even a little scared, I'm really scared. Because it's also going to <laughs> entirely ruin my makeup if I mess this up. So. Okay, okay, stop delaying, Rachel, you could do this. So to do this, you have to press down just like a little like kind of a thing, like don't push down all the way. You don't shake it and it's just, it's gonna create this like smattering on your nose, apparently. You know what? Hold up. Just so I get a sense of like what it feels like, let's just do it first <laughs> onto a paper towel and just see what it looks like, okay? Okay, everyone, have it here. This is just like a light brown. Woo! Glad that didn't go on my nose. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Try again. Am I just not <laughs> understanding the assignment? That's not it. How are people doing this? I'm determined. Oh, there we go. Okay, I held it farther away. Nope, nope. I'm gonna mess this up real bad, everyone. Like, how come I can only get it when I'm pointing down? I see it. How did I do that, though? <laughs> I get it once, and then I'm like, I did it! And then I can't, I can't seem to repeat it. Nope. Hang on, I need to look up the instructions. Nope. No instructions that I found, so I guess let's just try it. <laughs> I'm so scared. Did anything happen? No. I think I got my eye. That's good. <sighs> Point it at your face, Rachel. Oh, I think I'm, I have a couple of dots. It's just, I think I got them mostly right here. <laughs> just not where I want them. <laughs> ah, I don't see anything. <laughs> Maybe my color, my shade is too light. Bah! This is not going well for me, everyone. Um, So I'm gonna say probably best to steer clear of this. It's not working very well. I don't see any freckles at all, like nothing. I am spraying a lot of air on my face though. I, 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 yeah, I give up, I give up. I don't know why it's not working, but um, it's not. But if you've tried that one and it does work for you, can you please let me know if it works because, or, or what I'm doing wrong here? Is it just like the wrong color? Cause like I don't, I want, I want my freckles. <laughs> I, I, I don't see any freckles. No, I'm so mad. <laughs> what does it look like on my hand? That was like exactly the right kind of spray. I don't know if it gave me freckles though. It must be the shade. I think the shade is just too light. Maybe you need a darker shade. That's, that's all I can say. It does give like, if you press it the correct way, it definitely does give that like little like splatter kind of effect. Wait, see like that? 
I don't know if you can hear that, but like it does give a splatter effect and I can I can see a little bit of freckling. So um, my guess is get a different color. That was neat. I don't know if you can see it on there, but there are definitely like freckles. It's just, it's too like light of a shade, but like it did work. I just don't know how to make it like consistent, you know? I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I'm gonna check in with you guys tonight because we have a skincare hack that we're gonna test out. Apparently you get like glowing skin from it. We are going to take off this makeup, but first I do want to say, like the lip, that, that didn't last. But the cheeks stayed on like very nicely. And also the liner with the micellar water, that's, I'm so using that from now on. It didn't, uh, like it didn't go anywhere and it was blue. But now being that it's the end of the day, we're gonna take it off using another hack. And I call it a hack, is it a hack? No, it's not a hack, it is a, K-beauty practice that has been around for hundreds of years and it's called slugging. And apparently it gets its name because of like sludge from like a snail. Like you're basically coating your face in goop to kind of keep your skin as hydrated or preventing dehydration as much as possible is my understanding. And you need to use a product, by the way, I'm taking off my makeup using the product we talked about earlier from Walmart. This is the um, Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I honestly cannot get enough of this. Like it smells, like I love the scent of eucalyptus. So this is like right up my alley but it doesn't bother my eyes at all. Like contacts or no contacts, like you can see how, how much I've gone through already on it. Cause you don't need a lot of this for it to work well. Like this does not irritate at all. Like, it just, like look at that, like it's already like melting everything off of my face. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, so slugging. Basically, you, is my understanding is that you need a product that is both an emollient as well as occlusive. So occlusive basically means that it's going to like close in. It's going to keep all of your, like all the water retention on your skin while you're sleeping. So you want something that's occlusive as well as an emollient, which is like a skin softening ingredient. So you can find this in a, a variety of different types of products. But basically what you're doing is you're creating this really thick barrier to keeping your skin nice and healthy overnight. <sighs> that is just like, just take, like nothing, nothing on my eyes. It doesn't bother my eyes at all. You know how rare it is to find a product like this? Okay, I need to, <laughs> I need to rinse this off now because that'll look a bit crazy. And usually with my cleansing balms, I'll use like a cloth and I'll use that to take off all of this product on my skin. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, it's already so much better. But basically all you do for this particular um, practice is you do your normal skincare routine. However, if you're using any sort of a retinol, I wouldn't recommend that because you're basically going to like adhere that retinol onto your skin. It can be a little bit irritating if you're like trapping it into your skin more, but otherwise I think anything else would be good. So like a vitamin C or something I think would work really well. And you just do your normal skincare routine and then you apply like a thick layer of something on top. So I'm gonna do my skincare routine. I like to double cleanse on days where I have makeup on. that last little bit of <laughs> mascara every time. All right, step one, serums. Because one serum is not enough, you gotta have two. And then whatever your normal cream is, if you have one. And of course, oh, eye cream. Why not? All right, and once everything is on your face, now you can do slugging. And again, there are so many different ways and different products that you can use for slugging. As long as it's occlusive and an emollient, it should work. I am using this one. This is by Versed. It is the Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. And then you just wanna get a nice, like, thick layer on. Oh, that feels really nice. Ah, oh, I feel like I need more. More is more is more. I wanna be like a glazed donut, people. All right, glazed donut level achieved. Oh, it feels really good on my hands too. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna show you guys my skin in the morning time, right here, so you guys can see what it looks like. I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully, 
my skin looks and feels just incroyable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A big thanks to Walmart for sponsoring this video. You can go and check out all of the different beauty products I talked about at walmart.com slash beauty or at your local Walmart. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next one.